This video is gonna show you how to actually get up from the quadruped position, especially when you're rising from your bed. And ultimately, if you are limited in this motion of hip flexion, we actually have to round at the low back to accommodate for that lack of motion. So this technique is going to allow you to lock your hips in and maximize movement at the hip rather than at the low back, minimizing the opportunity to peak and pinch at those nerves that could be causing your sciatica pain. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get back onto your bed or you're gonna be finishing your bed. Now from here, what I'm actually gonna have you do is you're gonna let your belly button sit and drop and then you're gonna sit your hips back. And so at this point, we should be able to maintain a little bit more hip flexion. From this position, what I'm gonna have you do is you're going to step forward, but you're still trying to keep a little bit more of like a prone press up position here. And then you're gonna step your foot down, still keeping everything nice and close. So as you can see, I'm maintaining the arch of my back versus going like this, because we know that this can be a little bit more irritating. So again, you're gonna be here in this position, you're gonna drop your belly button a little bit, and you're gonna set your foot down, but you're gonna puff your chest up a little bit so you're still in that arch position. From here, you're gonna pivot, still drive your hips out, arch that back, and you'll stand all the way back up. And that should actually take the load off of your back and ensuring that you're in fact moving at the level of your hip.